to say the least, I will stick to the good old incandescence as long as I possibly can. But President Obama has called these LEDs the future of lighting. Joining the company is Chuck Swoboda. He's the chief executive officer of the lighting maker, Cree, C-R-E-E. -E. Chuck, welcome to the program. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, now at risk of giving you a three-minute commercial, let me have a go at you. Number one, you've got a bulb here that costs less than $10, and it's LED. That's correct. Sell it to me. So, like most people, you're skeptical to start with. So we made a light bulb that looks just like a regular light bulb. So okay. if you walk into the store, you're willing to try it. Second... It works like a light bulb, but better. You screw this into where you have your 60-watt incandescent today, and I bet you you can't tell the difference. Uh, I don't like the lighting quality, the, the quality of the light that I get from these LEDs. The color? What's different things? about yours? Well, we basically decide, found a way to put the LEDs in the center of the bulb, like a traditional light bulb, and make it like a filament. So effectively, we've created a filament-style LED light bulb. So when you put it in, literally, if you put this right next to a lamp with a 60-watt, you won't be able to tell the difference. I've done it myself. Can I use a dimmer, a rheostat on this? It's designed this? to work with all the traditional dimmers you can go out and buy in the store today. How much for that one in a store? So we have two versions. We have a 40 and a 60 watt. The 40 watt is just under $10. This is just over $12. Still far more expensive than my good old incandescence. Ten-year warranty. It pays for itself in the first year. What's, so, the, what's the energy saving? So... This is 9.5 watts versus a 60 watt incandescent. <laughs> and think about this. If you take this in one year high use, you'll spend fourteen and a half dollars in a year. Okay. Like I know what you're, you. I know what you're going to say. Why does the government have to push me around to get into these LEDs? Is that what you were going to say? Well, I'm, I'm going to say that, and I, you know. But listen, it's the, but this would. The, the, do they go past 60, 75 watts? I have, in my bedroom, I can't see. I cannot read. I I, do, can you go to 120 watts on these things? So, we just introduced 40 and 60. The technology is possible to go up to higher watts. Because right now, I'm really, i got them all over the bedroom. I still, I want to get like a floodlight. I can't read at night when I'm in the bed. Well, what's interesting is, actually, most light bulbs that are in people's houses, so by the way, there's 5 billion in the U.S., over uh, 4 billion are incandescents, and most of them are 60 and 40 watts. Uh, Chuck, I want you to look at the screen. Sure. See, that? that's your stock. <laughs> it's up 14%. You see what I've done for you? I look, really appreciate it. Look what that. I have done for you today. Well, I really appreciate it. Are that. you going to leave that bulb with me so I can try? <laughs> look, I'm going to leave this with you because I want you to take it home, and I want you to put it in and tell me if you don't think it looks just like a regular light. Is it made in America? It is actually made in Durham, North Carolina. So this isn't just some... Neat idea we made somewhere else. We're actually making this in the U.S., jobs in the U.S. All right. Well, that was a three-minute commercial, I just said. <laughs> you realize that. I, I, I give you 14% on your stock. I mean, what a guy.